It is October 23rd, 2020. We're here in the backyard of the house at 1236 Edgemont Street in San Diego, California, 92102. This also has a little single unit uh, behind it right here, which is 1238. And for the 1236 unit that we'll start with, uh, we have a clean out on the outside of the back here, but that appears to be probably leading from the back unit. And so uh, we go underneath the house, uh, we have ABS plastic. You can see this pipe right here. This is four inch ABS. They're utilizing this as the vent pipe for this downstairs bathroom um, that's right here uh, behind this wall that we're staring at here just outside. So this wasn't done to code. The venting pipe uh, is not in the proper connection point in the crawl space of how it connects into the sewer line. It will be functional though, uh, just not to code. Additionally, um, this pipe is not actually even glued or connected the right way. You can see there's an actual gap right there. The pipe is just pushed in. It's not glued. It's not, it's at an awkward angle. Um, additionally, you're not allowed to run ABS pipe exposed um, outside. Uh, it has to be cast iron due to UV and California codes. And the vent pipe also is not terminating above the rooftop. So you can see it's terminating right there at the top of our ladder that we have set up. So basically, um, it's going to be functional, it's just not to code. So we just make sure you're aware of that. So this was not done the right way. So uh, we do have planes flying overhead, we want to note. So um, it's going to get a little noisy at times. Now additionally, because we don't have an access for the very beginning of this sewer line for this few feet we're going to go through from after this vent, we have to crawl up this ladder. So we're not going to be have audio um, that might pick up real cleanly at first here. So we're now going to go ahead and go through the top of that vent to enter in the little bit of portion of the sewer main here that we can inspect from this clean out um, vent axis essentially till it ties into the other clean out that's right here off the back which we see at ground level um, so it should tie in not too many feet after that. Okay, so this first T-junction that we've come up to, which is exposed in the crawl space, is also out of code. It's going to be completely functional, but we just need to point it out for the purchaser. So basically, you cannot put a sanitary T on its side. So this first ABS T-junction that picks up this toilet, again, besides the vent being improper, um, this turn right here um, is a should be a combo T-fitting, a sweeping turn, a directional fitting. This is a sanitary T that was used on its side. Not a big deal, but we just again need to point out that it's not to code. Okay, you see we're coming up on our T-fitting right here where other pieces are dumping into the system. Okay, so right here you can see what's happening is, is we're coming into a reducing fitting. So this is improper. You cannot go from a large pipe into a smaller pipe. So either this directional fitting that they put in is incorrect, uh, but we're going from a four inch into a two inch and you cannot obviously do that. So we'll have to run our other camera in to see where this direction is coming from of the other bathroom from 1238. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna go ahead and leave this camera right here where it's at. We're gonna grab a second camera and we're gonna go ahead and start entering in from the other clean out as well as from the vent stacks that are on the 1238. See how they intersect with the junction we're sitting at right here. 
Okay, so uh, we put our other camera inside the clean out that's back here, and we've not passed the pipe. So what we think has happened is that because they use that improper sanitary T, um, which is, again, not a directional fitting for the flow of everything, debris, water, snaking, uh, cameras, uh, etc., uh, that our camera has gone the wrong direction, and we're actually flowing back in towards the house. And so essentially what we're possibly looking at here is the junction that picks up the bathroom from upstairs and then leads across and why it's reducing is that we're actually headed back in and what we're looking at right in front of us the reducing portion is the kitchen and laundry that dump into the system so we're going to go ahead and slowly pull our camera back out here in reverse and we'll verify that Okay, so that's exactly what's happening. So again, this is why you can't use a sanitary tee because anything that gets pushed down is going in the wrong direction. So we were actually going upstream. So we're going to go ahead and try to twist our camera to look at these few feet of pipe uh, to get it to steer the right direction, but that may not occur because of the improper fitting. Okay, so we cannot make that turn, uh, but again, it probably is only a few feet before it intersects with the other one. So we're going to go ahead, and it should be all ABS plastic. So we're going to go ahead and pause the video and use our second camera to go from the clean out that's right next to here that we were trying to get to. Okay, so you can see here's our first camera. Here's that vent pipe we were trying to go down, and because of the improper fitting, we're going in the wrong direction, not with the direction of flow because of that sanitary T that was used improperly. So about five feet from the edge of the foundation is that and then we have this secondary clean out here which is coming from probably the 1238 unit so we're going to go ahead and now push this camera down here into this piece here you can see we have the t-junction so from the left of this t-junction as far as the screen that's where we could not get to that point but it appears that it is all plastic so we'll now continue across here and this is leaving away from the property, should be heading to the alleyway. Okay, so you can see right here we're transitioning. The plastic was uh, installed only up to this point right here, probably just at the area where the grass is starting. And now we're going back into the original pipe right here. So this is clay, I'm sorry, uh, cast iron pipe. You can see tons of roots intruding on the line right here. So the pipe is unfortunately failing right here on the system. You can see in the upper left hand side of the screen there and the whole left, all these roots that are getting in from the piping here. So we'll go ahead and um, locate all that and mark it off on the property where it's at and how deep it is. But first we're going to continue down the line here. can see more roots right there on the right hand side of the screen a couple feet away barely and you can see just roots everywhere getting in the system so you can see up left side there they're pretty much everywhere on this pipe so the pipe is just old it's original to the house and unfortunately uh, it's at the end of its life and will need to be replaced here 
You can see more roots all right there on the top and side walls. They're just getting in everywhere. The whole pipe is essentially cracking and fractured um, because of the sheer age. You can see more coming up, little ones growing in on the top of the pipe right there on the side. They're pretty much just everywhere in the system here. The whole length of the run has these little roots intruding everywhere. So the entire pipe has definitely failed and gone bad. Here's the cast iron is ending and we'll mark this point out because then we're transitioning into clay pipe. So this clay pipe here, also four inch in diameter, is a very short piece and then it transitions into plastic. So this is Greenbell PVC plastic that the city contractors put in in the alleyway. And so what you're looking at right here is this white T fitting. That is um, a clean out that they installed and there's a concrete lid and access um, in the alleyway. So when they redo this, they put in what's called a property line clean out and that's what that junction is right there. So then we've got all new Greenbell PVC pipe going across here. A little turn on the line right here going vertically down at about a 45 degree angle here so the camera lens is holding up some water and debris and we transition across and now we're dumping into the large pipe so you can see the water running we're going to put our camera into there clean off the front of that lens from that debris so this is the city pipe in the alleyway this is the end of the lateral for this house so from the clean out that's on right off the back of this house you can see we're 40 feet out so um, this pipe has all been replaced, including the city's line in the alleyway, so there's no issues, of course, there. So we're now going to go ahead and pull back, and we're going to go ahead and mark where the cast iron is ending that needs to be replaced with all the roots intruding. So we're going to pull back here, and then we're going to go ahead and pause our camera right here. We're going to go ahead and locate and mark this section out. Okay, so we've located and marked this uh, transition here, which is the end of the cast iron, which again is all infested with roots. Uh, we've got a green flag, and we'll show that um, when we bring the camera out. Uh, the pipe is about 26 inches deep, so it's not very deep. It is under the grass, diggable area. So we'll back up across all this cast iron that you can see again has roots intruding everywhere because it's cracked along the entire span of it. It's completely failed. We're going to pull back to where the cast iron begins and the plastic ends and we'll mark that. Okay, there's the beginning of the roots right there on the left hand side and here's our transition right here. I'm going to go ahead and pause and mark this out. Okay, we've gone ahead and marked this off with a flag and denoted everything. This pipe here is only 17 inches deep. It's just in front of the um, grass under one of the stepping stones. The pipe is, again, uh, shallow enough at 17 inches in a diggable area. So the length of this cast iron pipe is right about 17 feet, just a little bit over that. That would need to be dug up and replaced with plastic ABS. So we're going to leave this camera in the line right here. And what we're going to do now is now move a second camera, the one we started with. We're going to move over to the 1238 uh, back unit and inspect those uh, plastic pipes um, to see where they tie into this house's Okay, so now here at the back unit, the 1238 unit, so we've got a little kitchen outside this window, and then that little window right there, we have the bathroom behind. So this was also done out of code, so we have all plastic ABS exposed outside. You can see right here that there's actually no vent pipe. It looks like this threaded piece right here tells me that the contractor that did this work um, used in what's called the Studer vent or an auto vent. Those are not permitted in the city of San Diego. Um, you still have to run a vent all the way to the rooftop. Now for the bathroom, same thing. They have out of code a a ABS exposed outside. However, they do have the vent pipe for the um, unit uh, above the rooftop on that. So they did extend it up through the uh, the eave there um, above the rooftop um, and that's basically across where it's coming from but it's not exactly plumbed also the right way the way the lavatory um, enters out of this and we'll move our camera over to show it more detail but anyway first thing we'll do to inspect the underground pipes is to go through this kitchen line so this is again two inch ABS proper size 
the two inch ABS will of course be underground but it cannot be exposed outside. So we're now running across and we're headed towards the bathroom. So right there you can see that is the two inch um, that is coming from the lavatory sink where that's dumping into the system. And we make this little turn on the line right here and we have this little junction um, which appears it is from, should be turning into three inch for the toilet here eventually after this turn. We go through here, so that's how they were making their connection with the smaller pipe into the vent system. Okay, so we've made that turn. We're now headed away. And we should be headed across towards that other clean out access, which we should run into our camera. And there you go. So there's that little clean out access. This is the back of the other house right there. And so this is where they intersect into their. So this, the plastic underground is in good condition here, and so we'll now pull out and we'll show the uh, venting issues on the outside exposed of the house. Okay, so again, that's where the lavatory sink where it dumps out into. So instead of being a 90 degree turn right there, that needs to be the T-junction where it connects to the vent. They have the drain line dropping down Here's a T-junction, then run horizontally across, and then tying into the vent. So it's going to remain functional, it's just not done to code. This T right here needs to be up top here. Um, it can't be on the vertical like that where it catches that across, or so it's really on the down slope. Um, so the down tie-in right here uh, should be correct off the toilet, and so then this just again goes up. It's all plastic pipe, and it's supposed to be cast iron, but it does go up above the rooftop, unlike the kitchen. So at least this one's going all the way up and out, and then also again, um, the other house doesn't have the um, vent pipe uh, looking across there. The large one we started with, uh, again, going up through the overhang above the rooftop as well, so that needs to be corrected as well. So this line is in good condition underground, and so the only issues we have are venting problems, and then uh, the exposed pipes for those vents being the wrong material, and then the roots and all the cast iron pipe in the backyard. So we're gonna move over to the grass section where the cast iron is. Okay, so again, right there at the back of the house, there's our other camera with the orange red push rod going into that clean out there. And then right here at this flag, um, again, just before the grass area, this is where the plastic is ending. So PL to CI for cast iron and the roots uh, are all intruding through all the cast iron. It's only a 15 inch depth. And then it's a 17 foot run across all this grass. There's one other little yellow um, green flag there about 30 inches before you get to the fence that's the alleyway where the sewer is and that's uh, also the again that flag denotes where the end of the cast iron is and then it becomes the clay and then a short run to the plastic so all this is where the bad piping is under this grass diggable area so that concludes the recording for this property